In this video I'm going to show you how to connect NA10 and Comfy UI together so that you can type in a chat in NA10 and that chat will execute a Comfy UI prompt and so therefore generate an image. That's going to be all this video covers and it's intended as a building block for creating bigger workflows. I suspect that if you're already using Comfy UI, you know that you can create prompts within that interface. But the beauty of this, having the two systems connect together, is that you can then start building bigger workflows that are not just about image generation, maybe some other content generation as well. What I'm first off going to do is I haven't got Comfy UI running at the moment, but what I will do is I will install the community node in NA10 first. So I'm going to go over to that. I'll save that as my workflow. Settings. And I want to install the community node NA10 nodes Comfy UI. I need to tick there and stand the risk of installing unverified code and then install. It takes about 30 seconds or so. Oh, there you go. So with the terminal open, what I can do is go into the comfy UI folder and then as usual type in python main.py to load comfy UI. But I'm also going to do switch which listen. I'm not sure if that's a necessary requirement, but the way I operate Comfy UI often is on a different machine. So I'll connect to it via a static IP address. I'm doing this all locally for now. And it's just the process that I've proven that works for me. So, uh, you know, again, you may or may not need to do switch switch listen but it works for me so I'm, I'm going to stick with that okay so we've got a chat message node here I'm going to add comfy UI node which just appears there first thing I need to do is I need to so connect n810 to comfy UI so I need to give it some credentials the defaults will work if you're using both comfy UI and n810 installed on the same machine now I have NA10 installed in Docker. So what I need to do is I need a different URL. And the link will be in the description, but what I need, I need this HTTP host.docker.internal address. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that into here making a mental note that I'm going to want it on port 8188. Okay, so I need to change the bit at the end to 8188. Important to note that you do not want the forward slash at the end of this API URL, because it'll fail. So let's just save that. We've got a nice connection tested successfully. So we've set up our credentials OK. Next thing I want to do is grab a JSON file from Comfy UI, which is the export API of the Comfy UI. I want to take, I want to edit that, text edit. And then what I want to do is I want to copy the contents of this JSON file into, make sure I've got a lot of it yet, Control and C, Control and V, into the workflow JSON window. I'm going to leave those settings the same. So I've got 30 minutes to generate. This probably takes about five minutes to generate an image. Um, it's worth noting it takes the text 
from the prompt that's in the JSON file. So I'm just going to leave that as it is for this first test. And I'm going to, this is going to do exactly what I've already kind of done in Comfy UI. Okay, so to test this setup, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type anything into chat. It doesn't really matter because the chat and the Comfy UI image generation, they're not connected at the moment. So I'm just going to type in anything and it's just going to act as a trigger right now. So what I can see is that that's started. I can have a look in my terminal window and I should soon see that the I see some GPU usage I can start I should be able to start seeing the comfy UI process executing and this is it starting to do that work for us um, I will come back to you in four or five minutes once this is completed and then we'll see what that's actually produced. Okay, well, two minutes has lapsed. Let's see what has come out. So if I have a look at the Comfy UI node, I can see that it's generated. What's this? It's a photo of a young man in a shirt looking sideways on at the viewer. So that's what it's generated for us. But I don't want every time I execute this workflow for this chapter to turn up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that text with the chat input. All right, let's turn it into an expression. I'm going to open this up, it's a bit easier on, on there. So, text I want the chat input to drop into here so it's between those speech marks and then I'm going to go out of here and this time I'm going to say generate an image of a man on a beach wearing a space suit. What I'm expecting to happen now is for the ConfUI node to pass over the prompt that I've just put into chat. And so we'll see when that outputs the image whether it's given me a different image or not. Right, so that's executed. Let's see how it's handled that image. Let's go back into the Comfy UI node and have a look. <laughs> there we go. So that is definitely a man in a spacesuit on a beach. No denying it. Very different to the previous prompt. If you're interested in this type of video and want to have Olama run local language models and have them communicate with NA10 and have it all running on a Mac, then have a look at this video over here.